Hi, my name is Isha Gogia and welcome all. This is the first video on machine learning. You learned the basics of Python in the last chapter and this chapter will go over the basics of machine learning. After this module, you will understand what machine learning is, what are the two major types of machine learning and what kind of data is used when doing machine learning projects. Machine learning algorithms are an evolution over normal algorithms. They make your programs smarter by allowing them to automatically learn from the data you provide. These are some common examples of machine learning in use. We see recommender systems, spam filtering systems, and credit card fraud prevention systems around us all the time. Machine learning has greatly helped in the development of these technologies. In this course, we'll be doing a project-based implementation of using machine learning for election purposes. All machine learning tasks can be classified in several categories. The main ones are supervised machine learning, unsupervised machine learning and semi-supervised machine learning. Supervised machine learning relies on data with true label or classes available. For example, if we want to teach a computer to distinguish the pictures of cats and dogs, we can download some pictures of cats and dogs and add tag cat or dog to it. Labeling is usually done by human annotators. So now we know true labels of the pictures and can use this data to make our algorithm learn the right way to classify images. Once our algorithm learns how to classify images, we can use it on new data and predict labels that is cat or dog on previously unseen images. Now, unsupervised machine learning means that we deprived a learning algorithm of the labels we used in supervised learning. We just provide a large amount of data. For example, if we do not label the images of cats and dogs, but we still want to split this data into two categories, then we employ unsupervised machine learning to separate the images in two groups based on some inherent features of the pictures. Semi-supervised learning is a class of supervised learning where it uses a small amount of label data and large amount of unlabeled data. We use semi-supervised learning algorithm because unlabeled data is cheap and labeled data is hard to get. Reinforcement learning is a type of learning in which actions are taken by accessing the current environment to maximize the reward. Game playing is a good example of reinforcement learning. These are some of the common machine learning algorithms. This course will go over a variety of these algorithms. Finally, these are some common data types one will encounter when faced with a machine learning problem. Structured data is data which can be stored in SQL databases, that is tables with rows and columns. They have relational key and can be easily mapped into pre-designed fields. Structured data can be easily organized. This data is clean and very easy to perform analysis on, but it is estimated that it accounts for only 20% of the data available. Some examples of it are web server logs, call detail records, etc. Semi-structured data is information that doesn't reside in relational database, but that does have some organizational properties that make it easier to analyze. With some process, you can store them in relational database. XML and JSON documents are examples of semi-structured data. Unstructured data represents around 80% of data. These kind of data do not easily fit in a database. Unstructured data refers to information that either does not have a predefined data model or is not organized in a predefined manner. Examples include social media data, photographs, video, etc. And that concludes our video. This course was created as a part of the Stanford Crowd Course Initiative, the world's first massive online open coursework developed entirely by an online community. If you'd like to learn more about us or view more courses, visit crowdcourse.stanford.edu.